Hi guys, um, just thought I'd do a little video on profiles. Um, so we've got some different shapes lined up there. Um, heading towards a new season, and we're getting lots of different emails and spending hours emailing people actually. But again, requests are really hung up on. Um, a specific profile for different wickets okay which if you followed me over the years from my playing days in county cricket and playing club cricket and right through coaching you'll have heard me say time and time again a good bat is a good bat profiles are irrelevant if you've got all the wood at the bottom it'll feel bottom heavy even if it's a light bat if you've got Wood at, more wood at the top, it's just going to feel lighter with, even if you've got more wood in it, but it's wasted willow because it's too high. So it's about balancing a profile out. So no matter what, the bat needs to be balanced and it should ping. Okay, so if you look at a bat face, so bat faces, look at them from the front. So that's a, that's a spectre. That's an odyssey. It's a bit more of a just a, it's a custom made, but a bit more of a classic design. That's the last of my old sponsored bats. So, if we look at the profile starting from this, old school. Real old school bat. Now, nowadays people would say, all the woods down there is for low bouncing wickets. Well, I've got to say absolute nonsense because we used to play on county and international paced wickets with those sorts of bats. And so, for instance, someone like Brian Lara scored 500 and something runs with bats not too dissimilar to that. So it was before the big bats started coming in. That's the way they were. Does it make any difference? No. Hitting areas there to just below your sticker line, or should be on a good bat. So, put that one down, I'll we'll grab that. So, a little bit more of a, a bigger traditional profile, as you can see, but no concaving. And it's just balanced out differently, okay? This is 212 in weight, this is balanced out differently. So, wood is lighter now, that's that the willow is lighter now, but in general, pretty much similar profile, but it's balanced out. Okay, middle there to just blaze your sticker line. So we go to an Odyssey profile, compare that to my old sponsored bat again. So this profile looks like it's got a lot of wood all the way down to the toe, all the way down to here. It looks like that because it's got concaving in it. So it's a longer spine height. It's just changed the profile of the bat. Where's the middle? There to there. And then a different profile again. Spectre. Sharp spine, flattened out towards the toe a little bit. Still quite full in the spine, but actually flattened out just to change its profile look. Reasonably sized edges, some concaving. So the spine height doesn't look so, so high. It is as high, but it's just not as long and flowing. So it doesn't give it that concept of a long spine on it. Compare it to that. Totally different profile, it's a bit more like the old Duncan Fernley Magnum sort of profile. Middle, there to there. So you can see from that that what I've talked about over the years, you know, the big companies because they're selling, we do, I think I do seven different profiles. What are the profiles there for? Because they're there to catch the customer's eye. Okay, it's not about playing on low bouncing wickets or really bouncy wickets 
we want a big middle on every bat we've got and we want them to pick up well. So choose a bat on what catches your eye and that is going to give you confidence when you stand at the crease over it. So when you're stood looking down, if the profile really bothers you, I mean I used to use that, one of the best bats I ever had. Full of confidence with it. So as you look down, whatever pleases your eye, if you're fussy about the profiles, go with that profile. If you're worried about playing on low bouncing wickets or bouncy wickets, take that out of your head because if your middle on any bat is from there to there, you can't do any more than that because a middle is never going to be there on your bat or from your sticker line, bottom of your sticker line to your splice, uh, to your shoulders, and your bottom two and a half, three inches are never going to be a middle. So it's always two, two and a half inches up from the toe to just below your sticker line, no matter what shape. And that ping comes from the quality of the pressing and the quality of the handles. And the pickup is in the shaping. That's the, that's the, those are the skills of the bat maker. So don't get hung up on profiles. Pick what you like, what, what catches your eye, as opposed to going th wading through loads of questions, blah, 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 the bounce, low bouncing tracks. I play this shot, that shot, the other shot. In fact, a lot of the emails I get, they play more shots than any of the top international players because the top international players have, have their strength shots and stick to them. Sometimes, if you think you can play all the shots, that's probably that's why you're not scoring so many runs. Think about your strong shots. Sometimes, if you just stand and drive, you don't pull and, and hook or cut, heavy bats are the way to go. You can stand and just punch. If you're strong lads, then you can pull a little bit with them. But just think about the profile as what catches your eye, not the surface that you're playing on. Hope that makes sense.